Here are six molecules that can function as acids. And in this exercise, we are going to predict the formula of the molecule that results after each one of these acid molecules donates an H+. And then we're going to do a similar thing for some bases. This exercise is going to help us get ready for predicting the products of acid-base reactions. So let's just jump right in. Our first acid is water, H2O, and we want to predict the product uh, that would exist or would be created after this acid donates an H+. So there's two things that are happening to the water molecule when it is donating an H+. First of all, it loses one of its hydrogen atoms. So it goes from H2O down to HO, again, just because it has lost one of its two hydrogens. The second thing that happens is that it loses this positive charge. The H2O molecule is neutral. It doesn't have any charge on it. And then it is going to be losing that plus one charge that's associated with the H plus ion. So we have zero minus one, which is a negative one, and that's the resulting charge of the product of this process. For our next example, HCl, again, we have two things going on. First, we lose one of our hydrogens, so that leaves us just with the Cl, and then also we are losing that positive charge. Zero minus plus one is, again, a minus one. Next example, HNO3, we're losing the hydrogen, so we've gone from HNO3 down to NO3, and again, we're losing a positive charge. We're going from zero, um, zero minus plus one gives us a negative one charge. Next example, we have HCO, HCO3 minus, we're losing our hydrogen, so that takes us down to CO3. In this one, the charges are a little bit more interesting, so we're starting with a negative charge, and then we are subtracting from that um, another positive charge. So we have a negative charge, and then we subtract another from that, and that takes us down to two minus. So that's, and it's kind of tricky the way that we symbolize it, but it's like minus one, which is the current charge, minus a plus one, minus one minus one is minus two. Next example, H2SO4. Now, this molecule has two hydrogen atoms, just like our water, but we're only donating one hydrogen at a time. So we go down to HSO4. It's neutral to begin with, so our new charge is a minus one. And then here is our last example, CH3COOH. So this molecule has four hydrogen atoms in it. Um, when you're in a situation like this where you've got four hydrogen, you know you need to take one away, and you're wondering where should I take that hydrogen from? Should this become CH2COOH, or should it become CH3COO, and we get rid of that one at the end? For this particular molecule, and in general, when you have a lot of hydrogen atoms, but one of them is all by itself, this, this one is isolated from the others, conventionally that's the one that we write as being removed from the molecule. So here are the, the structures, or excuse me, the formulas of all of these molecules that result from the donation of an H plus ion by each one of these acids. So now we're gonna do this a similar thing for our bases. Bases are accepting an H plus. So basically we're doing the opposite thing over here. We're starting with H2O, we're gonna be adding a hydrogen. So we're gonna be going to H3O and we're also adding a positive charge. So we started with a neutral charge and then we added that plus one charge. And so that means that we are taking this charge up to a plus one. Now we have HCO3 minus. Again, we want to add a hydrogen. So now it's H2CO3. And we've gone from a negative one charge. We're gonna add a plus one charge to that. And so we end up with a neutral molecule. Here we have H, or excuse me, Br minus. We wanna add a hydrogen. For our acids, we almost always list the hydrogen first in the formula of the acid, which means we want to write HBr, not BrH. It's convention that we write the hydrogen first. And here's another example where we started with a minus one charge and we're gonna end with a neutral charge. HPO4 two minus. So we're gonna be adding a hydrogen. That's gonna give us H2PO4. 
and we're also going to be adding a charge. So we have this 2 minus charge, and we are going to be adding a plus 1. The math is very funny in these. So we have starting with the 2 minus, and then we're going to be adding a plus 1 charge. So we have minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. This is ClO4 minus. There are no hydrogens already present. Remember that writing hydrogen first is kind of the convention for these. HClO4 started out minus one, so our product is gonna be neutral. And then last but not least, we have NH2 minus. This is one situation where um, we don't put the hydrogen first in the formula and really don't worry too much about situations like this, um, not knowing what to do. As an introductory student, if you wrote BRH or if you wrote HNH2, this is not wrong. It's just not conventional. Um, so here, here are uh, all of these examples of bases after being given an H plus ion. And now we are ready to work on predicting the products of acid-base reactions. So what I have here are six different reactions, and in each one of these I've labeled the acid and the base so that you know which is which. At this point in your education, I don't expect you to be able to do this without being told what the acid is and what the base is. So if you did not have this information available to you, I feel like it would be very difficult for you to complete this exercise, which is why you're being told which is which. Now, I don't want you to get in the habit of thinking that in a chemical reaction, we always write the acid first and the base second. That's not standard. That's just how I chose to do that for this exercise. There is no convention about writing the acid first or um, writing the base first. They could be in either order. So in these reactions, basically all that we're going to do is apply the same concepts that we used over here when we were writing the formulas for the acids and bases after they donate or accept their H+. So since we know that this HBr is our acid, we know that it is going to be donating one of its hydrogens. So we know that it is going to go from HBr to Br-. And then since we know that OH- minus is our base, we know that it is going to be adding a hydrogen. So it's going to go from OH- minus to OH2, and it's going to go from neutral to, or from negative one to neutral. Now you might recognize that's a funny way to write that formula. I'm going to write it like that. That's okay. One thing that you can do to kind of check your work as you're working on these problems is that if you add up all of the charges on the left side of the arrow, they should be the same as all the charges on the right side of the arrow. So initially on the left side, we have a total minus one charge. And then if at the end on the right side, we also have a minus one charge. And you should also be able to balance these equations as well. So here's our next example. H2O is our acid. Um, and so that means that it is going to go from H2O, it's going to lose one of its hydrogens, and it'll um, develop a negative charge. And then NH2- is our base, which means that it is going to accept a hydrogen, so it's going to go to NH3, and it's also going to get a positive charge. So it'll go from minus 1 to neutral. Here's our next example. H2CO3 is the acid, so it will lose a hydrogen. It will become H3O HCO3-. minus. And NH3 is our base, which means it accepts a hydrogen, so it becomes NH4, and it also picks up that positive charge. Here's a good example of us being able to um, use the, the conservation of charge. So on the initial side, we have a total charge of zero, and then on the product side, we have a minus one plus one, which is a total charge of zero. Here's our next example. HNO3 is our acid, so it's going to lose its hydrogen. It's going to become NO3 with a minus charge. And then CH3COO minus, which is our base. It's going to pick up a hydrogen. Um, and how you choose to write this formula, you if you're following my guideline that the hydrogens are usually written first, and you'll probably write it like that. Um, although for this particular formula, it's, it's um, oops, I realized missed some hydrogens there. For this particular molecule, it is conventional to write it as CH3COOH. But again, either one of those formats is okay. Uh, we've got two more examples to go. We have NH4+, which is an acid, so that's going to lose a hydrogen and it'll become NH3, no charge. 
HPO42 minus is our base. So that's going to pick up a hydrogen, become H2PO4. And it's also going to pick up a charge, a plus one charge. So it'll become minus one. And here we can verify our charges again. Plus one, minus two. This is a net minus one on the left-hand side. And then we have a net minus one on the right-hand side as well. And here's our last example. This one's kind of weird. So here's our acid, H+. plus. It's going to lose its H+, plus, which means it's not going to there will be nothing left at all there. And OH minus is going to pick up the H plus. So that is going to become OH2, or like we like to write it, H2O. So here's one where these two basically just combine to make only one product.